Paul, just th- that is my favorite event is uh, the stones, right? Can you just explain the stones for, for the listeners? Explain the Atlas stones. I would say an opening comment was at the end of a show and you're tired and after a pre-workout, if you was ever going to have an accident in the middle of an event, Atlas Stones is definitely, <laughs> definitely one of those okay. one of those uh, events, you know. Um, there are a lot of nerves going at the last one. You've just got one event to go, man. You just want a clean run on them stones. You don't want your tacky to slip. You just, it's probably the most stressful thing about the stones is getting your tacky on your arms and getting it actually to a, to a state that it stays good you know what i mean like, what do you cover your arms in chalk or something or well it's it's called strongman tacky it's it's like resin tree resin there's all different types of makes out there um but it's it's all affected by heat and moisture and you know what i mean so you see the guys at the end of the show with their blow torches out getting tacky all warmed up ready to go and, and you can put it on like syrup mm-hmm. and then it cools down and it just goes like tree resin like glue and it just helps your forearms stick to the stone what are the weights of the stones the first stone to the last one um, my best completed run in Scotland was 100 kilo to 200 kilo, six stones. 100, 120, 140, 160, 180, 200. Six stones. Six stones. It looks, to me, it looks so awkward, that last stone, to try and get your arms around it and you're lifting it to quite a height. For you, it must have been a bit easier, I think, because of your, because of your natural height compared to other competitors, was it? Yeah, like, obviously... Being a little bit taller in stones helps, but believe me, there's some good short stone stone loaders out there. Um, but yeah, being taller helps. Like when I stand up with it on my chest, like I was pretty much at platform height. I just needed a little whoop and it mm-hmm. was on there, you know. But 200 kilo stone, like it didn't matter what stone you picked up. Like when you touched a 200, you knew it was 200 kilo before you even picked the thing up, before you even braced on it. As soon as you get your arms around that thing, that was, you know, 200 kilos generally almost be two foot across the center of it you know what i mean like it's just a big boy and then you pick it up and it, it literally it takes your whole sort of chest cavity <laughs> so you you, you know it's a, a big stone before it's you a, will get it it's a hard watch when you're watching a guy try to get the last stone and he can't get it you know and they're trying and um just even getting onto their knees and then struggling you can yeah. almost, you're struggling with them in your mind when you watch them. Do you know why a lot of strong men really wrestle with the stones? Because no. it's not the weight, it's just the awkwardness. Awkward. And these guys are sitting, I've been there myself with a stone in my lap, it's, it's just 180 kilo, man. Mm-hmm. Stand up with it, you know what I mean? All you got to do is get your stomach underneath it at the right point and you'll just stand up with it. But man, when you're tired, just like yeah. anything, like man, when you're tired, like somebody throws a basic boxing combo at you and you're just like, what happened there, you know? And yeah. You just can't process fully but when you're tired and the stones is on your knees like it's just it sounds like a lot of weight to maybe some of your listeners but like to to strong men out there that are aspiring to be world's strongest man like what, what i was trying to be um uh that it, it's, it's just not a lot of weight like 180 kilo 200 kilo like you could put that on a bar and a lot of us will clean that to our chest you know yeah. what i mean like um it, so it was it's frustrating having this damn stone on your knees and you're like yeah. i've just got to get it there it's yeah. just like at eye level at this point you're just staring at it you're like so just the shape that's of why it. a lot of guys wrestle with that last stone you know what i mean like gotta get it up there like you can't get it to your knee i'm halfway there like it's a, a, the competitiveness and you know what i mean so yeah, I just, I think that the Atlas Stones is, is so exciting, but very hard to watch sometimes. And I can imagine there's a lot of people, like, I don't know, they just fall over with a stone, do they? Collapse or... There's been a few accidents for sure, there... like, um, yeah. Uh, 